Okay. Well, we've been bringing this up more than enough. All right. Let's let's jump into this. Uh, so, oops. Oh, yeah. Star Wars Outlaws. We covered this game when they first dropped the gameplay trailer. Oh God, was that last year? Oh, the Eclipse was last year. No, well, uh, that was. I think that was one of them. But I want to say we did cover. It was also. Uh, hang on, I'm. I'm trying to because I know I clipped it out from that from the Saturday Night Sith when we covered it. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. And it looked like you know a very typical third person cover shooter style of game. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, so we did a react. We did a we we saw the video for Star Wars Outlaws gameplay walkthrough, and the just the trailer from last year, June twenty second. So that would have been actually like June thirteenth or something like that, maybe. But yeah, so we we did go over the gameplay trailer back then, and now they have their official new story trailer. And yes, I know like some people pointed out there's the ratio of right now it's like at 34,000 upvotes versus 122,000 downvotes. Here's the thing. Only some of us have the 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 app to um or plug in whatever to see downvotes again. Your normie audience Whoever is just randomly, you know, coming across this isn't seeing that. So while it's funny to point out, it doesn't have a lot of weight at the end of the day, sadly. And also because, you know, the, the, the average person is still just going to eat it up because it has Star Wars in the name. For but sure. you know, let's uh, not to not to you know be so down about it, but I mean it's kind of the truth of the matter. Is like it's funny for us to point out and everything, but at the end of the day, what weight does it hold at this point? I don't see a lot at the at the moment. If there is eventually, awesome. Like I said, I'm happy to be wrong on certain things, but uh, till then, until like this is like a horrible tanked game. All right, then cool. Then maybe it had an effect. But I mean, who's really responsible for right now when it comes to games failing? Is it like people like us talking about it? Is it people that play it and review it and everything like that? Or is it also just like right now because of the current economic situation? I know a lot of people are wanting to splurge on these sort of, oh God, I can't think of the word, but you know, they're hobby items and stuff like that, right? So, but anyways, let's let's get into this. Each of you represents some of. <laughs> Wait, was that captured in in engine? Not all images appear in game. Represents some of the most powerful criminal organizations in the galaxy: Pikes, Crimson Dawn, Huts. It's a golden age for the underworld. The Empire controls every corner of the galaxy, but they're distracted by a rebellion that won't quit. It's an opportunity to make millions. K Vess, the underworld's favorite new scoundrel. Ah. We meet at last. What do you want? Zarek Besh. They're new, rich, and lethal. You crossed their boss, Sliro, and now he wants you. Okay. Now, I've brought this up in some other chats, but. You know what? Let me actually let this play a little bit more. Now, he wants you gone. Rob his fortune, buy your freedom. This job, it's a death wish. I'm in. So, okay. And really quick, thanks, BD Jake, for hanging out. Um, says, all right, I'm peacing out for the evening. Take care, all. Be well. Horns up. Rock on. You too, sir. 
Have a good one. Thanks for hanging out. Um, but as we see, we've got Han Solo here in the Carbonite. So we are taking place in between uh, Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. What is another thing that took place in between Empire Strikes Back and hmm. Return of the Jedi? What could it be? What could it be? What could it be? Perhaps a little book called Shadows of the Empire? That's maybe. Uh, I can't help but find that this is and like uh, like it is. Uh, I this this new ultimate kind of crime boss is kind of he's our human stand-in for Prince Shizor, who is kind of becoming the top dog for and and everything for the criminal syndicates of Black Sun and all that. And meanwhile, we now have our little smuggler girl. Who, for so like people pointed out rightly, kind of basically like our Han Solo, but could also be seen as our Dash Rendar stand in. Like that's kind of where we're going with this. Uh, we're we're getting our new replace replacement for Shadows of the Empire, essentially, in my opinion. But that could just be me. Uh, let's get back to where we were. It's a death wish. I'm in. Out here, you live and die by your reputation. You want to survive? Know the players. You're new to this world. What's your problem? Come back when you're not. Daba, right? Look, don't try anything. I'm not a whole crew surrounding the... Okay, we're skipping that part. For about as long as I can remember, it's just been me and Nyx. Doing what we have to, to survive. This job is my one shot at freedom. But if we're gonna pull this off, we need the right crew. And the right ship. I hire you because you are one of the best hunters in the Outer Rim. She's more connected than you let on, Slero. Bess is mixed up in something bigger. The Outer Rim is a dangerous place. Everyone is fighting for their piece of the galaxy. But all I want is to live free. So I'm gonna risk it all. Hold on, Nick! Star Wars Outlaws pre order available now. And they've got the shitty crate, quote unquote, crate dragon that looks actually like a giant penis. Um. So, yeah. No one's what, been able to get the Great Dragon, right? Other than Kotor. What's that? I said nobody's been able to get this Great Dragon correct except for Kotor. And, and one of the earliest uh, for Star Wars open world game, which was a Star Wars Galaxies, who also had Great Dragons that were the correct style of Great Dragons. And Star Wars Galaxies also had you being able to do uh in space combat and flying to other planets and all that great stuff what that was what kind of infuriates me is how these people are attempting so much to rewrite history and and like it is like they like from their favorite movie the last year like kill the past they're doing everything they can but then they got fuckers like me that are happy to keep pointing out you're wrong you're wrong you're wrong we had Star Wars Galaxies, which was a very, you know, it was very much a kind of open world style game, had very large planets, and, you know, you could you could go, and especially once Jump to Light Speed dropped, when people could start getting their own ships and stuff like that, and doing all the space travel, combat, and everything else, really opened up things even more. Granted, a little dated by today's standards for gameplay mechanics and all that, but it was its earliest. It was the best, in my opinion. Uh, they still have not been able to do that well. And yes, uh, 
it is kind of looking like they're trying to do as uh, Brandon Tran said, this game is trying so hard to be like a matchup of Grand Theft Auto and Boba Fett's 1313 game. Very interesting drop. So, yeah, uh, every time I've seen this trailer, though, it's a snooze fest. It doesn't come across as anything interesting. I was already, you know, not going to be going near this game just for the very fact that it's Disney. It's Star, it's, it's Star Wars. Lucasfilm, uh, and especially because it's Ubisoft, because fuck Ubisoft. So, and especially, oh, you know what? How, what are your? Do you have any actual little thoughts quickly on this trailer, Hitman? No. Okay. Um, that aside from the trailer, what also is quite the uh <laughs> quite the kick in the pants with this fucking game um is god damn, ooh, i think have they removed it oh you naughty monkeys i am trying to find the pricing that was originally oh wait maybe oh i think i know my problem I didn't go to the pre-order. There we go. There's there's some of the ridiculousness to this. So to add, add to the uh, stupid nature of this whole thing. For Star Wars Outlaws. Yes, you have your standard edition at $69, $70 marker. But then, if you want your three days early access along with pre order bonuses and season pass, you're up to $109.99. And then, if you want the ultimate edition, uh, base game pre order bonus, which I believe the pre order bonus also, so we got cosmetic pack for your speeder, trailblazer spaceship, season pass, which is Jabba's Gambit. Exclusive mission available at launch. Not even part of the regular game itself for the Jabba aspect of this game. Uh, Kessel Run character pack. Again, three-day early access. Rogue infiltrator bundle. Digital art book. Sabak shark bundle, which is a cosmetics for Kay and her blaster. Nyx, the speeder, and the trailer is $129.99. They are nickel and diming every little bit they can to make sure uh, they are really gouging it. And like it is, three days early access is very Starfield-ish. Uh, definitely for, for the streamer baits, the, the streamer cucks out there that want to be there first. Um, and, you know, I, with, with, the, with, the, with the, again, this is where it's going to hurt them the most is these sort of pricings already with the fact that video games at a basic you know price has gone up to $70 instead of the 60 like it already was at and it's and it's staying the same for digital games it's not that you think with it being digital games maybe a little less but oh no but hey i mean ubisoft is doing the quadruple a gaming guys but no, this is this is what they're going for. This is definitely, and I agree with like Lethal Lightning and them. This is the biggest, biggest issue to take with this whole game is just this pricing. This is this is they are trying to get away with practical murder of of your wallets essentially. And all I can really suggest is you know. Stay the just try and stay away as best as humanly possible. I mean, don't get wrapped up in the hype. You can do it. I know I did with things like uh, with Cyberpunk. I saw the first gameplay trailer for that game, and I walked immediately away because I saw the writing on the wall. They were they had a very scripted, uh, very very scripted trailer for what was supposed to be like you know on spot sort of thing. Uh, and I saw all the basically like themes of almost like Ubisoft tier stuff going on. So it was very sad to see, but 
between that very boring trailer and now this, it comes as no surprise that, you know, this is a path that Ubisoft is taking.